In this video, I'm going to share with you how I FUD using Foundry. When you usually write a unit test, you will specify some inputs, call some functions, and then afterwards run some checks. This has a limitation that you're only testing for the inputs that you specify. On the other hand, fuzzing will test inputs randomly. So what Foundry would do is feed in some random inputs to your test and then verify that the test passes. So in this video, I'll show you an example of how to fuzz using Foundry, and we'll talk about assume and bound. These are two functions that you can use to specify a range for fuzzing. And then lastly, we'll talk about the stats that is shown when you fuzz a test. Okay, so for this example, we're going to be using this smart contract called bits. Inside it, it has a single function called most significant bit. What this function does is find the most significant bit of a unit 256. And what this means is that let's say that we have a number represented in bits. So this will be 1100. Zero, zero. The most significant bit of this number will be the leftmost one. In this case, it will be this number over here. The position of this number will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So this function most significant bit will return 3 when you pass in this number. The way this function works is that it does a binary search for the most significant bit. So the code is a little bit complex. And what we want to do is we want to fuzz this function and have some confidence that there is no bug inside this function. So to do that, we'll be fuzzing this function, most significant bit. Okay, so back in our test, I'm going to first do some setups. I'm going to import the contract that we're going to be testing. And then inside the test, we'll deploy this contract. And we'll write two tests. First, we'll manually test the function most significant bit. So we'll specify some input and check the output. Next, I'll show you how to write the test using fuzzing. So the input will be fed from Foundry. This input will be random. And to test our implementation of the function most significant bit, I'll also write a helper function inside this test. Here's the implementation of the most significant bit that I know works correctly. What it does is it's going to scan each bit from right to left. And as long as there is a 1, it's going to increment this index i. So this implementation of most significant bit does not use the binary search. We will use this as a reference to check against our implementation that does use the binary search. So let's start with writing a test for most significant bit manual. So we're going to call the function b.mostSignificantBit. B is the contract bit that I just deployed. And what is the most significant bit of the number 0? Well, the number 0 does not have any 1s. So the most significant bit of this number, we expect it to be equal to 0. So I'll type assert equal b.mostSignificantBit of 0. We expect this to be equal to 0. Let's write a couple more tests. So for example, most significant bit of 1, when you write 1 as a binary representation, the 0th bit will be a 1, and that will be the only one. So we expect most significant bit of 1 to still be equal to 0. And for 2, this will be most significant bit of 2 will be 1. Most significant bit of 4 will be 2. 8, we expect it to be 3. And that's the most significant bit of, let's put in the maximum number. So that will be type unt256.max. We expect this to be 255. Okay, let's run this test. So I'll save the file, open my terminal, and then type forge test dash dash match path test fuzz.t.sol. Okay, the test most significant bit manual passed. Let's go back to our test. So the next step is I'm going to show you how to write a similar test. Instead of specifying the inputs, we'll let Foundry put in some random inputs. So this will be fuzzing. So to fuzz this b dot most significant bit, first I'll copy this code and then paste it here. The input that we're going to test will come from Foundry, which will be this random input x. So I'll put an x here. And then the output, I'll assign it to a variable, let's say u int i. And then we'll want to do assert equal i should be equal to something. So what is this something? Well, we know that we created a helper function, and we know that this function will correctly return the most significant bit. So we're going to call this function over here, most significant bit of x. What we're doing here is we're letting Foundry put in some random inputs, and then it's going to call our implementation of most significant bit. This is the function that used the binary search to find the most significant bit. 
we assign this to a variable i and we compare this result to the implementation of most significant bit that just scans from right to left. So let's run the test. Open the terminal again and then run the test. And our test passes. So that was how to fuzz. The next topic will be assume and bound. These are helpful functions provided by Foundry when you want to specify a range for your fuzz. So let me show you. Let's go back to our example of test most significant bit fuzz. And first I'll explain with assume. Assume takes in a single input, a boolean, and if the boolean is false, then the test will be skipped and then Foundry will try to run the test again with a different input. So for example, let's say that I want to skip if x is equal to zero. And what you do is vm.assume x must be greater than zero. So if x is equal to zero, then this x greater than zero will evaluate to false. So Foundry will skip the test and then try to run another test with another random input. And to make sure that x is greater than zero, I can type assert greater than x must be greater than zero. Okay, let's run the test. So then my terminal again, run the test, and our test passes. After you call assume, you don't have to do this check. This was a check just to demonstrate that after we call assume, all x will be greater than zero. So I'll comment these two code out. Next, I'll explain what bound is. Bound is another helper function if you want to specify the range for the fuzz. It takes in three inputs, the input and min and max, and it returns the input bounded between min and max. So for example, let's say bound the input x between 1 and 10 and what this will return is x will be bounded between 1 and 10 so we assign this to a variable let's let's reassign it to the same variable x so we're saying bound x between 1 and 10 and what this means is that x will be between 1 and 10 and just for this demonstration we will check that x is indeed between 1 and 10 by typing assert greater than equal x should be greater than or equal to 1 and x should be less than or equal to 10. Open the terminal, run the test, and the test passes. So that was assume and bound. These are functions available in Foundry if you want to specify a range for your fuzz. So going back up, the last topic will be stats. Going back to my terminal, Take a look at the log for test most significant bit fuzz. It has some extra stats that you don't see for other tests. For example, test most significant bit manual. Runs a symbol that looks like a U. You read this as mu and tilde. So what do these stats mean? Runs is the number of tests that ran for this fuzz. So it ran 256 random inputs into the function test most significant bit fuzz. And mu is the mean amount of gas that was used. In other words, the average amount of gas that was used for this test. And lastly, tilde. Tilde is the medium amount of gas that was used. What is the difference between mean and medium? Mean is the average that we're all familiar with. Sum all the gas that was used for the test and then divide it by the number of tests, 256. And that is how you get this mean, the average. On the other hand, medium is the middle number. To get the medium, you will sort all of the tests by the amount of gas that was used from lowest to highest. And then you simply get the middle number. So that is the difference between mean and medium. In summary, in this video, I showed you how to fuzz using Foundry. And then I also showed you how to use assume and bound to specify a range for the fuzz. And lastly, we looked at the stats that was provided when we run a test using fuzz. Runs is the number of tests. Mu is the mean gas used. And tilde is the medium gas used.